Hello again everyone, it's me, Matt Smith. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We're back once again doing some unboxing for the fan mail that you have sent to my P.O. box. Now I've got three parcels today, rather large ones, so it's kind of uh, ominous to know what's inside them. Of course I have cut open the tops to just make sure they are safe. I haven't done anything else, like read anything or look at anything else. I cut open the tops to see everything is legit, and it does, so we're going to take a look at these three parcels. So, first and foremost, I want to thank each and every one of you for supporting my channel. Even if you are just subscribed, following, watching, leaving comments. Those who are following my Patreon, I really can't thank you enough for doing so. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I know I really don't uh, give much praise to those uh, who have been so generous in providing me support and, and gestures and gifts. Uh, and donations to this channel it really does mean a lot to me so thank you especially at a time when youtube is really kind of cracking down on my channel right now still waiting out to hear what's going on um, and for those of you who've been sending stuff to my fan mail my po box thank you again it's awesome to come to my mailbox unlock that key look inside there and find those parcels that you've decided to want to send to me it means so much to me and i have such an amazing following so Without further ado, uh, we'll get into some of the parcels here. I did actually get some uh, some patches sent to me uh, in the mail also, and some letters. Um, the Estonian flag, which was very nice, so thank you. Inclusive of that was the N7 flag from uh, Mass Effect, so that's pretty cool. Also got an American flag, another one that's almost like my uh, Marvelous uh, bag flag, so the American flag in dark and, dark and uh, white, so thank you very much for that. And also another Australian flash, which was really nice to see, so that's really cool. Um, so yeah, really nice flashes there, so thank you gentlemen. So we'll start off with the first box, shall we? Let's uh, take a look-see. So I did cut the top open, there was a letter in the top. And it says, here we go. Take a look-see, it says, Hello Matsumus, hope you're doing well. Sorry to hear about the YouTube issues, but it seems I'm a big fan of your videos. Uh, to be honest, you were quite a big motivator, help among others for me trying to get into the Canadian Army Reserve. There's really not a lot of Canadian Forces related content on YouTube. Basically you, even though you're not a subject matter expert, and the old Truth Duty Valor videos that we put in plus 10 years ago. Uh, I tried joining the Reserve Union in Edmonton, but unfortunately I've been rejected due to possible medical reasons, but I'm appealing the decision. I'm not giving up just because I hear no. Being a heavy duty mechanic, I wouldn't be still doing that if I wasn't at 100%. But anyways, since I got something out of your content, I decided to enclose a gift. Well, that's very kind of you, and I'm really sorry to hear about your uh, unfortunate luck with the, the armed forces right now. Uh, love the Derya shotgun videos, as do I, I love that shotgun, and as you can see you enjoyed it so well, and since you didn't get the Canadian edition, I've enclosed two five round mags for the Derya with Cerakoted magazines. I didn't do these myself, I have a Cerakote guy, he does great work. Hope you enjoy because, let's be honest, having more magazines is always better. Good luck in the future and I wish you the best. Mike, aka Canadian AR-15 guy. Well that is really nice of you Canadian AR-15 guy. Um, that's really, really nice of him. Here they are. The Derya Mark 10 5 round magazines. That is so kind of him to do that. Let's take a look at one of these guys. I guess they've been... Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. There's some grease on there. Let's get that off there. Beautiful Canadian Derya semi-automatic shotgun magazines. That is amazing. That is so cool. Thank you so much, good sir. That's that's really, really nice of you. You got me two of those. Um, so that's awesome. What a star. They are going to be a lot of fun to take to the range when I finally get some time. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice cer Cerakoted Canadian maple, maple leaf on there. Two magazines. Definitely going to be utilizing these in the near future. So thank you very much for that. Really appreciate it. Put those guys there with the old Derya magazine. So thank you, Canadian AR-15 guy. It means a lot to me that you sent me that. And I'm really, once again, uh, very sorry to hear of your news of the Canadian Armed Forces. You know, there are other opportunities out there that hopefully will work out for you. But uh, that's that's a really kind gesture of you. So thank you very, very, very much for doing so. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This one was pretty hefty. It's quite a hefty box, this one. Um, and it's rather large. It's probably one of the larger boxes I've got. So I did cut open the top. Nothing like risky or dangerous inside of here. And uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> you know where this is going, don't you, folks? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I've got to. I think I may have to do some... Yes! Okay, I'm going to have to do two minutes of retrofitting here. Um, I don't know if there's a letter in here. I haven't... 
I haven't seen any. I don't see any. Um, no, I don't. I don't see any there. But we can all clearly see what this is. It's going to be an amazingly cool, realistic style Roman Legion helmet. Now I don't know my Roman history very much, considering it's ironic that my channel is that of a avatar of Roman history. Um, but I do know this is going to look absolutely amazing if and when I get it put together. I have to put the pieces together here. <laughs> I think I may have got it back to front. Let's just swap this around. Put it that way around. Is that the way it goes? I guess that will work. <laughs> okay, so we're going to flip this over here. Sorry, folks, I just got to put the screws on. This is an awesome gift. I don't, I can't find any details as to who it came from, though. That's the worst part. I'll just try and get these screws in here. I will make this work. My mechanical skills are coming back into play here. Ups, nuts and bolts upside down. That's one. Oh my goodness, we're going to have to live stream with this thing on for sure. And this is amazing. This is absolutely epic. Okay, here we go. I can't wait to put this thing on. Here we go. This is a true Roman helmet here, folks. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That'll do. What do you think? Think it suits me? <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, that is that is amazing. It's not my head set quite right. There we go. Well, what do you think? I think it's pretty cool. That is amazing. That is an outstanding gift. Thank you so much. And actually, very prevalent or relevant, sorry, to my channel. Very very cool. I got the sort of the dog ear flaps. I can put them up. I can fly. I can fly with my Roman helmet. The cheek protectors there. But it goes to show this thing's pretty hefty, but it goes to show how, like, you know, protection of the head was not only a, uh, a necessity, but, you know, they're, they're pretty, you know, detailed in their, uh, their looks, the appearance, the aesthetics, I guess, from the Roman Empire. Pretty cool stuff. Now I've got to try and get this thing off. That is amazing. Thank you. Whoever sent it, I don't, I can't figure out who sent it. I don't have any details. Oh, it's from Larry and the Boyd. I think this is from Larry Boyd, I believe. Yes, that is amazing. So thank you very much for that. That is an amazing gift. Really, really cool. Like, you can't get any more realistic and cool than that. An actual Roman helmet. <laughs> or, I guess, at least a replica. I don't know where I'm going to put this one. I might have to replace it from the Spartan one. But uh, that is amazing, folks. Like, my god. Absolutely outstanding. We're going to put this just on the side here. Hopefully not uh, destroying any of my collection there. <laughs> amazing. Well, thank you so much for doing that. That's an amazing, amazing gift. Um, you know, any gifts you guys send are amazing. But that is, like, truly relevant to my channel. It's... Uh, it's beautiful. I'm gonna shine it up real good at some point with some brasso and polish up nice and shiny. And then we have one more. This one looks like it's from a rather interesting place. Um, I think it's Russia. Um, it's pretty hefty. It's uh, pretty bulky. So I did once again cut it open to see what's inside. So let us find out, shall we? It does have some, I don't know what those letters are or what they mean, but we'll take a look inside. Um, may need to get the trusted bayonet out again here. I might be able to get away with it. This is packaged very well, at least. 
hardcore bubble wrap. Holy smokes. Okay, here we go. Oh goodness. This is so tightly packed. Goodness me. We're getting there, folks. My goodness. There we go. We're just gonna rip her open. Oh. Okay, well. All I see is lots of Russian writing. If you're Russian or you know whatever language that is. I'm a little I'm a little concerned what this is. Um It's got a lot of digits on the back. You know, I've got a feeling. Ah, yes. That only means to me one thing. Food. And a date to it. Yep, I think this is an MRE. I'm pretty sure this is a Russian ration pack. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what this is. So we're going to add this to our collection because not only do I have this one, I have the Russian one, I have the Chinese ones. We've got the Russian and the Chinese ration. We've got another British one. So we've got Chinese, Russian, British. And then I think we also have a Canadian. So we're definitely going to be doing some videos on that in the near future, which is going to be interesting. Um, we've got Russian, Russian rations too now, which is going to be uh, really cool. That looks like a, that's the biggest ration pack I've ever seen in my life. Look at the size of that thing. It's huge. But uh, thank you very much for sending me that. Again, I don't have. I don't think I have anything in the in the bag. Um, and I'm sorry, I, I'm not too sure who sent it, but uh, thank you, whoever did send this. This is awesome. We'll definitely put this on our um, Russian ration pack review. Pretty cool stuff. I'm excited to pop this open and take a t take a taste. And um, it's kind of sealed in, kind of like this kind of like carry bag. That's really cool. But it's massive and it's heavy, so maybe it's more than 24 hours. But well, maybe the Russians just know how to eat. But it, and maybe it's not Russian. Maybe it's Polish. Sorry, I don't mean to insult. The language, I, I, I just don't know the language. I presume it's I presume it's Russian, but maybe it's not. Um, so that's amazing though. That's really, really cool. Um, yeah, I think it is Russia, because I can see by this stamp here. I think that's Russian. See what it says that? You can see it, it says. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But either way, some amazing stuff to, to look at there, folks. Really, really cool stuff. Um, so we have our uh, Russian MRE, we have our Roman helmet, and uh, my Canadian stenciled AF, uh, sorry, Dirty Magazine, Shotgun Magazine, so, and obviously the patches. An amazing, amazing bunch of people um, for sending me that, thank you very much, it, it really does mean a lot. Um, you know, those of you who have been following me for quite some time know I don't do this channel for this kind of thing. Uh, but a lot of you have been pestering me and saying, Matt, I want to send you stuff. Tell me where you send it. I'm like, keep your stuff. They're like, no, I want to send you it. So if you want to send me it, you're more than welcome to. Check out the description box below. Um, you know, the, the PO box is there if you wish to send me anything. And once again, thank you each and every one of you for just hanging around and being there and having a chat. Even if it's just on Discord, having a chat. You know, those are the things that I do YouTube for. Just chatting with people, hanging out. And this is just outstanding. Like, this is amazing. Uh, I guess I should close the video with this on, really, being that uh, it's an awesome addition to my helmet collection. There we go. Uh, but thank you all again for joining me. Um, I really can't thank you enough, and it, it means a lot um, for you to just, just be a following of, of the calibre that you are. And I guess I'll catch you around soon. If you do want to send me anything or you want to support my channel, check the description box below. All the links are there. i uh, going to be doing a lot more Twitch in the future, so I've been doing a lot of Twitch streaming lately. So if you want to follow me on Twitch, Go check out there too. Thanks again, everyone. Have a wonderful day and bye-bye.